Hello everybody, welcome back. In this tutorial video, we're going to go ahead and create the post controller. Now if you've watched my videos on YouTube, the post controller is going to be very similar to every other controller that I've made. So, to do this, we're just going to go, see here we already have an admin controller, which just returns an admin.index. We already have the auth controller, which I provided with the uh, tutorial, which will let you log in, register, and log out. Then we have this base controller and we have a home controller. The base controller we're always going to extend. We also have this admin controller. So to create another controller, we're just going to hit Control Shift P and just say controller. Just start typing controller and just generate that controller. We're going to call this the post controller. and go ahead and let Laravel generate that up, or Sublime Text generate that for us, and here we go. Now, we don't need to keep extending this base controller, because it gets pretty repetitive. What we're going to do is, I'm just going to use this to extend the admin controller. Since, really, an administrator is what's, who's going to be actually, the admin controller should be controlling this post controller, because you need to be an admin to have anything to do with the posts. So, makes sense? I hope it does. Um, that's how I, that's just how I do it. Uh, you're free to do it any way you want to, but I I will extend the admin controller with this post controller. So we'll just run through this real quick. Post uh, this public function index will keep this, except for we're going to we need the we need to actually show the posts. So I'm just going to say here posts equals post order by, so we're using the model here, post order by, and the order by is camel cased as every other method, so the order by method of the post model, which is a model controller. So we're going to order it by, and we'll order it by the created at date, and we're going to sort descending, and that needs to all be capped. And lastly, we're going to paginate it. So I'm going to have three posts per page. Okay. Now, when we return this view, we need to go ahead and pass that variable that we just created as posts variable in with the view. So to do that, we're just going to say with. We're going to say posts, and it's going to be posts. So with posts, posts. So that completes our index view. This posts create view, we can leave this, that's fine. Public function store. Now this is where we're going to save what we enter into this create function. So to do that, we're just going to grab all the input. So we're going to say input equals input. Ah all. Next we're going to validate it. So I'm just going to use simple validator. Uh, v equals validator make. And the data is going to be the input. The rules are going to be post rules. If you remember in the post model we went ahead and defined some rules here. So this is where we're going to use those rules. So we're, to do this we're just going to say post and then rules. And we're not going to we're not defining any custom messages, so we don't need this. Next, we need to decide what to do if the validator passes. So to do that, we're going to use an if statement. So if we're going to say v passes, we're going to create a new post. So post equals new post, so we're instantiating a new uh, post model. And we have the post title. And that's going to be equal to input get. And it's going to be title. The title field. Next we're going to need the body. So that's going to be post 
body will be equal to input get I spelled that wrong, it's got to be capitalized. Input get body. Get rid of default here. Next, we're going to get the keyword in the description. If they remember, it's not required, but we're going to go ahead and get it anyways. So, this is M keyword. input all. Input get and it's M keyword. Next post is going to be title uh, description. So meta description equals input get M description and then our slug. So I'm going to introduce you to a new class here. It's the string, the str class, which is kind of like a string class. So with this post slug here, we're going to inst instantiate the new string class or str class. So we're going to say str, and it has a method called slug. Now what this slug is going to do? It's going to any any white space between your uh, between any of your words so if you have you know if you have spaces in between your words or if you have underbars in, in between your words it's going to change all of those to a hyphen and that's what the slug method is going to do it's going to take any white space and change it into a hyphen and we're just going to say input get and we're going to use the title of the post as the slug next we need our user ID for the user who created this, so we're going to say post user ID equals the auth user. So whoever is the auth the current authenticated user that's creating this is going to have their ID inserted into this. Next, we need to go ahead and save it. So post save, and then we need to go ahead and send the user somewhere else. So we're going to just surrender them, send them back to the post index method. So return, redirect, uh, we're going to redirect them to a route. So redirect route here, and it's going to be just posts index. Dot index, and we get rid of the rest of this. <coughs> Excuse me. If the validator does not pass, then we're going to return redirect. We could use back um, and I will here. And we're just going to redirect them back with errors. Now, there's some discussion whether or not you should use redirect back. Uh, if you're the only one that's going to be developing are using this code then yes redirect back will be fine because you you'll know what the you know what you're doing with your own code but if you were ro working with you know multiple developers or something like that you probably wouldn't want to do this because they're going through here and like redirect back redirect back to what you know so that's just to save some market but in this tutorial redirect back is fine next we need to go down here to this function show and in a show, we're going to return view make posts dot show, so that's fine. But we need to add some stuff to it. So we need to pull the post from the actual database. So, so to do this, we are going to where am I at here? First, we're going to pull the post. So the post that we select here, because what's going to happen is we're going to, this is for us showing the post to ourselves. So if we're going to have a list of posts, and if we want to view a post that's in our list, our admin list, this is what we're, what we're going to do with it. So it's going to post, and you're just going to post find by ID. Let 
and this would be the variable ID. And in that post, we want to go ahead and use some carbon to uh, make the date readable for because I left the date purposely in UTC in the app config here. If we go down here to app and just go to this app file. You see, I left it here as UTC. Um, that's, I did that on purpose so I could show y'all how y'all if if you wanted to use it, like say if you're in the Netherlands or if you're in the UK or Germany or Mexico or something like that, and you want to set your local set your time and date to how it is locally. So if it's Netherlands, it would be Dutch. If it was Germany, it'd be German. It will actually actually output the date in your language, in your home country's language. So since I'm in the United States, I'm just going to say date equals, and we're just going to take post, created at, so the created part of the post field, and I'm going to set the locale. And this is just standard PHP. So that's going to be local time. Actually, it's going to have an underscore under there. So time and then the locale for me is going to be America and then New York and there's an underscore here too so New York it's got to be capitalized don't want any errors okay and next is the carbon part and this is simply date equals um, date and then we're just going to format localize so format if you watched my tutorial on carbon then you've seen this already it's just uh, format localize and simply just uh, percentage a percentage d percentage b and percentage y okay so we have two variables now we're going to pass into the view. So we're going to say with the actual post itself. So with post and the variable itself. Post and with date. Date. Okay, so now we're done with. the show function. Next we need to have edit. So the edit we're going to find it by the post by ID because again this is just for the admin. So post equals post find by ID uh, I'm getting all screwed up here. Hold on. Post find by ID and so if the post is there, fine. If it's not, we need to redirect it back to the user in the index. So if po if is null post, we're just going to return them back to the index. So return redirect route, and it's going to be posts that index. And if the post is there and there is a post, we're going to turn it with. So with post, post. Okay. Now to update it, we're simply going to grab the input. We're going to grab all the because this is actually a put command. Um, put function. We need to. It's going to have a method in the form. If you haven't seen this before, there's actually a put method in the form. It's called patch. Uh, for those of you who have seen this before, then you really don't have to worry about it. But you'll see when we do the views. And if you've seen my other tutorials, you should be able to figure this out. Equals array. 
except this is this array except is a Laravel function. It just it's going to take all the input, so input all. And then it's just going to leave out. It's going to input all except the method. So except the method. Okay. Now we need some rules, and we're just going to say rules. And I'm just going to use the post rules. So. I'm going to say v equals validator make. And data is going to be input. Rules are going to be post rules. Again, we're using the post model. And that's fine. Next, if the validator passes, see if v passes. It's way too many S's. But if the if the passes, we're gonna post find by ID. My ID and we're going to update it. So update. And update requires a parameter. So what are we gonna update it with? We're gonna update it with the input. Afterwards, we're going to return a redirect, so return redirect route, and that route is going to be posts.index. So I'm right back to the index page. If the validator fails, we're simply going to do what we did before and return them back. So return redirect. And we'll return them back. Not going to return any status, no headers, and it's just going to be with the errors. Yeah, that was right there. With the errors, and that's going to be V. Next, to destroy, this is fairly simple. To destroy our posts, we're just simply going to find the post by ID. So find by ID and then destroy. Or actually delete rather. Sorry. Delete. And then we can redirect. So we're going to return redirect route. And we're going to send them right back to the post index. Okay, this took about longer than I wanted it to, but I wanted to try to explain as much as I could along the way. And the next tutorial video will start with the views, and this is pretty much all the backend stuff, the web development stuff that you're going to have to do. The next up, it's all going to be in the views, so stay tuned for that.